future of the Gurukula system. The 13th question I was asked for a yoga for a research project on Gurukulas in India was what will be the future of the Gurukula system in India and South Asia and the West? Please do share your thoughts in a very detailed way. Gurukula, of course, has several meanings. Gurukula, on one hand side, is a special form of education where the students live together with their teachers. And by living together with their teachers, the students get uh, deeper spiritual knowledge. What will be the, the future of this kind of system? I believe this will be for a long time. Because on one hand side, people get more free time, they have longer vacations, so they want to spend their time there. And the second reason is, some feel that the normal lifestyle is not sufficient. They don't feel fulfillment by working hard to make more money, pay the rent and get proper clothes and nicer clothes, nicer car and so on to continue like that. More and more people want to live in an ashram with spiritual teachers. And yoga becomes more popular, meditation becomes popular. And the best way to learn yoga in a more in-depth way is to live in an ashram for a while. Like at Yoga Vidya as well as in Shivananda Yoga Vedanta, if you want to become a yoga teacher, part is also you live for a while in an ashram. And so this kind of Gurukula training will become more and more important. Another meaning of Gurukula is a way of what, how children will learn. So children will leave the homes of their parents and live in an ashram environment starting most likely in the age of six or eight, six or ten years depending whether the basic training is already done in the Gurukula. In the West, this kind of uh, Gurukula is probably not popular. Mm, I don't know whether it exists at all. If it exists, only in a very small part. At Yoga Vidya, we don't do it like that. Mm, even though even the parents who live in the ashram and get children, they usually go to the normal public schools or some special private schools. So we don't we don't intend to have a gurukula in that way that we become like an uh, education institution for for children. But maybe somebody else will find that this will be helpful. Normally we say it's good that the the student, the children get the normal education of society with some additional spiritual teaching. In India, it's different. In India, you have the long tradition that children go to learn at an institution, and so you have these big gurukulas, which part some even have a couple of hundreds children or even more, and this will have an important uh, part, an important, uh, yeah. Will, part, will, be, will stay an important part of the Indian education system. Next meaning of Gurukula is that students go to a teacher who himself went to a teacher and so it's this Guru Parampara. And I, I'm, I'm very confident that this aspect of Gurukula will continue for a long time because spiritual experience comes easiest when you're with a spiritual teacher. And the spiritual teacher gets his experience the easiest if he stayed with a spiritual teacher. So this continuation of Guru Parampara will continue. And in that sense, the Guru Kula will also continue.